Hi guys, Samster here. I want to share with you guys a video on how to change the extractor on the newer E2 uppers on the SIG pistols. Um, until recently, um, the extractor on the Legacy uppers was uh, quite a bit different than the new E2 uppers. What we have here is a 226 with an E2 upper, and what makes it an E2 upper is the extractor. Now this is a quite a bit of difference from the legacy uppers which most people are, are familiar with I have right here a, a 239 with the legacy upper you can see the extractor here is a, about one-third the size of the extractor on the E2 uppers um, this has a plunger and spring that are parallel to the bore that is completely different on the new E2 upper so this is a legacy slide legacy upper E2 upper you're starting to see a lot more E2 uppers, uh, especially in the conversion kits. So you'll be having to deal with uh, the long extractor, which is much different than uh, changing the extractor on the legacy uppers. So let's uh, take a look at this and show you how to change this real quick. So first thing we need to do, check the weapon. We need to field strip the weapon. Pretty simple. I'm going to pull out the guide rod recoil spring. We're going to pull out the barrel. And now we have a stripped upper sitting right here. This is the E2 upper. Okay, just taking a quick look at it, you'll see that there is a pin on the top. And then you'll see one pin on the side. But this here is the pin for uh, retaining the firing pin. Changing the firing pin and servicing the fire pin is not much different on the E2 upper as is the legacy, you drive the pin out um, from the right to the left, then you reinstall it from the left to the right. Exact same way you do in a legacy, except on the legacies, you can see here, you can see this pin is exposed. There's a pin for retaining the firing pin, drive it out from the right to the left, put it back in from the left to the right. But on the new E2 uppers, you see the firing pin retaining pin on one side, you do not see it on the other. It is underneath the extractor. So if you need to service the firing pin, you must remove the extractor. Then the procedure is pretty much the same, except uh, the only difference will be you'll have to use a modified punch. Okay, and now this extractor, instead of being held in by spring tension, is held in by a pin. This pin not only retains the extractor, but it is also the, the fulcrum point, the pivot point for this extractor. So this extractor pivots on that pin, and it, it all and it uses two springs horizontal in the slide instead of one uh, parallel to the bore. So let's go ahead and take this apart. So what we basically have here is a three mil three millimeter uh, rolled spiral wound uh, uh, pin on these uppers, and this pin needs to be taken out uh, from the top. It needs to be pushed up from the top. The only catch is. Let's see if you can see it here. This pin is only half exposed. So you need a special punch to drive that out. Now that only does two things. That prevents that pin from walking down into the gun and, and causing a malfunction. But, and it also allows you, it only can be taken out one way and then put back in one way. So it does prevent, you're only seeing half the pin. So this is a three millimeter hole or three millimeter pin so what you need is a three millimeter punch well typically a standard three millimeter punch looks something like this which fits in here perfectly and uh, would help me to, to uh, seat and reinstall it but you cannot get in here with a regular punch you need a basically three millimeter half round punch so you have a couple options here but it's pretty simple once you have the punch basically this is what we have right here what we're looking at we need a punch that's three millimeters wide, but it's only but it's ground in half, so it's only going to be 1.5 by three. So you need a punch that's at least 30 millimeters long, uh, half round punch. Now this punch is available <laughs> when it's not back ordered from Brownells, and here is the Brownells part number, and that is from Sig. Sig makes that punch. It's about twenty dollars, but uh, I think it's well worth it if you have uh, some of these Sigs with the new E2 uppers. I would invest in that punch. Or you can basically make your own punch to do this. And uh, that's what I've done here today to see if we could do this where the average guy could take this. So 
So what I did, I went to the hardware store and I bought an eighth inch punch, which is slightly larger than three millimeters. Now you could probably get away with using a slightly smaller punch and make it a little bit simpler. So I bought an eighth inch punch and then I turned it down to three millimeters. Then I chucked it up in a vise and I took a, uh, an angle grinder and ground away 50% of the punch. So I don't know if we can see this on, on the profile here, but we wind up with a half round three millimeter punch. And that's all you need to do. You can easily make this yourself. You can pick up a, a simple punch for about six bucks. Uh, if you've got a bench grinder and an angle grinder, you can make yourself a three millimeter half round punch and it will work quite, quite well. But the factory punch um, would, would be a lot nicer. So to get this out, we've got to take and drive this pin out. So you're gonna need something, a block of wood, armor's block, um, something everybody probably has, a roll of tape. So we can take and set this on here, see if I can do this on camera. Take my half round punch, put my flat slide, flat part there, just like that. And then take a small hammer, and let's see if we can just drive this guy out of here. Okay, now you can see my punch as it's going in here. I got the flat part up against the, uh, the half hole here. So we're going right in, and we're starting to push the punch right out of the hole, or the pin right out of the hole. Now this doesn't have a ton of spring tension. Holding your thumb on here, you can easily hold this. And like I said, you don't need a very big hammer, small hammer, small little uh, mallet, and just tap that pin. That pin will come straight out of there. Let's see here. There we go. Pin's out. And my punch is now retaining the extractor so that nothing's coming apart. My, uh, my punch is acting as the pin. Here's a little pin. These use a uh, spiral wound uh, pin. Um, unfortunately, the pins are not exactly the same. The pin for the extractor and the pin for the firing pin, retaining pin, are not the exact same part. So you will need, if you want to, these are a consumable part that can wear out. So you'll need to stock two different pins because they're two different lengths. The firing pin uh, pin is longer. Then the extractor pin. Uh, these are about three bucks a piece. Um, best place I know to pick them up is from uh, Top Gun Supply online. Uh, they have them in stock, ready to ship. It's about like three bucks. So now we can pull my pin out. And this will, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And now we can lift the extractor right out. Now the extractor will lift straight out. And now we have the new style long extractor for the E2 uppers. You can see here the hole where the pin goes through. So we pivot on this and that retains it and it also provides the pivot. And we have the, the claw here which grabs the, the casing and it ejects the, ejects the casing. And then we have the surface here where the springs sit. This uses two springs. Let's see if I can show you this before I remove them. So you can see in here there are two springs sitting in there. There is an inner spring and an outer spring. The inner spring is longer than the outer spring. That is normal. And they just sit right there. And you can grab a magnetic screwdriver and just grab them like that. Pull them right out. And then we can separate the two. And then you have the inner spring and the outer spring. And they just sit inside each other just like that and you can see here there's a little hopefully you can see that anyway there's a small pocket in there where those springs sit now also you'll see the part of the firing pin retaining pin right there you can see the firing pin retaining pin it's the same way it's a it's a captured pin it bottoms out you can only see half of it so again you use the same half round three millimeter punch and then you can come in and take that out if you need to service your firing pin. And basically, you take the pin, you tap it back in until it stops. As soon as it stops, just you know, lightly tap it in until it stops, and you're, you're, you're set. And the same way with uh, installing this pin, you'll put this pin back in, and then you'll tap it back in, and then it will bottom out right here also. So tap it in until it stops, and you're done. So that's pretty much it on the, on the E2 upper. You have the extractor. You have the retaining pin and pivot pin, and then you have the inner and outer spring right here. 
it's really not much different than an AR-15 style extractor where you have a pivot pin, you have a spring set up here, but instead of using a spring and an O-ring, this uses uh, an inner and outer spring to get the proper tension. But this is what the new style extractor looks like on the E2 uppers. Assembly is, is basically the same thing in reverse. You put your two springs together, put them back in their location. There's a little milled spot right there where that spring will sit in. So just get him to stand up and sit back in that spot. Oh, of course, we're on camera. He don't want to sit there for me now. Come on. There we go. Now he's sitting back in there. Take the extractor. Um, you set it right back in. The only thing I think I found it easier is if you start this roll pin and get it to where it's almost flush, not quite protruding yet, but you can start to see it, um, then it's a lot easier. You just take the extractor, just drop the extractor straight back down, hold it, and then you're, with your roll pin, you would, I recommend you already have started, then you just tap your roll pin in until it bottoms out and, uh, and you're done. But that's it, pretty simple. It's a, a simple, it's a spiral wound pin, a long extractor, and then a uh, inner and outer spring on the, on the extractor. So the new Legacy uppers, um, servicing the firing pin is the same. You knock the pin out from the right to the left and then reinstall from the left to right. The only, the only thing is you need to have a special punch, which is a three millimeter half round punch. So once again, this is the, the, basically the profile of the punch that I made. Um, it basically, it's a half round, three millimeters wide, 1.5 high. You could take a, maybe a smaller metric or a, you know, fractional punch and do the same thing. And uh, basically it needs to be about 30 millimeters long, just so it has enough to go completely through the slide. Um, not really so important on doing the, the extractor pin, but when you do the firing pin, you gotta go through the full length of the, of the slide. But once again, uh, the part number from Brownells for factory made one is right there but it's not something too terribly hard to make. Um, it's just basically a three millimeter punch uh, ground in half. And that's all you need to uh, be able to completely strip down uh, an E2 uh, upper. A little different than the Legacies, but I think we're gonna see a lot more of the E2 uppers with the long extractor. So, but if you see an extractor that's this big, um, the Legacy uppers is gonna be about one third the size. So that will tell you you have a Legacy upper. If you have a large extractor, that means you're running the new uh, E2 upper. Other than that, um, everything else on the on the slide is exactly the same, except for the extractor. So, if you need to get in there and do maintenance, or you want to stock some parts, um, pretty simple. Don't don't be afraid to tackle this yourself. This is uh, something you could easily change if you have a broken extractor, or you get a weak extractor spring. This is a uh, a five minute job to change out. So don't hesitate to. Uh, Learn how to do this and uh, set yourself up with a, a single basic punch that will allow you to, um, you know, take care of yourself and not have to rely on somebody else. So that's it on the E2 upper. Thanks for watching.